Hi, this is Mr. Weston. Today we're doing a math drill tutorial video on three digit by two digit division. This is on mathdrill.com, of course, and you can find lots of other worksheets and resources on this website. Um, that's why I'm so proud to be a partner with Math Drills. So let's go ahead and talk about what is long division and how do we do this. Okay, I'm gonna talk about two different methods and the first is gonna be the standard algorithm. So long division is just kind of like the inverse of multiplication. So what two numbers times each other will equal this number called the dividend. Okay, so as we do this problem, we're essentially seeing how many times can we have 48 fit into 851. And when I say fit into, I'm talking about uh, skip counting. So 48 would be the first one, 96 would be the second one. So we're gonna see that's one time, that's two times. How many times will 48 fit into 851? The way to do this is uh, relatively simple. We're just gonna see uh, how much 48 can fit into each one of these digits at a time. So if we talk about 48 into eight, it does not fit into that number. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna see how much it fits into 85. So 48, as we know, doesn't go in exactly into 85, but the closest we can get is just one time with 48. Now you may be thinking, well, 96 is closer to 85 than 48 is, but you can't go over. You can have leftovers, but you can't create more than you already have. So one time is the extent of what we can fit in. So we're gonna put 48 here. And the reason why we put 48 here is because we say 48 goes in one time. So essentially what we're doing is 48 times one and that equals 48. The most common mistake I see is people put one here and then they just, they don't really make a lot of progress that way. So we're just gonna put 48 here, not up top. And so let me get that going. All right, so now we're gonna subtract and we're gonna see how much we have left over. We're gonna use standard algorithm to subtract. So this is uh, seven because we need to borrow. This is gonna be seven and this is gonna be three. So now we have the number 37. By itself, it looks like 37 is too small, okay? But we have this one here. So we have to incorporate both those numbers. What we do is we drop down the one and now we have the number 371. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. So this is the kind of part that we have to use some strategy. So for example, if I know that 48 times 10 equals 480, I know it's not gonna be 10, okay? Obviously, I'm not gonna put 10 right there, okay? You only can put one digit at a time. However, I do know that I need to go a little bit lower than 10. So maybe nine, maybe eight. Let me start with eight and see where that takes us. So I'm gonna put eight here, and I'm gonna see what 48 times eight is. I don't know what that is off the top of my head, so I need to go and do the standard algorithm. So I have eight times eight gives me 64. Carry the six, that gives me 32, and then I have 38. I think that's right, 64, six, eight times four, 32, and then that gives me 38. So that's too much. Okay, so I have too much there, so what I need to do is I need to make it seven instead. So I'm gonna turn it to seven, and then I have six, and because eight times seven is 56, and I'll put the five there, that's 28 plus five is 30. Three, so I have three, three, six. Okay, and then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna subtract to see how much we have left over. I'm gonna borrow that, and then we have five, we have three, and then we have zero. So we have 35. Now from here, you can see that we don't have, um, oh, I forgot to put seven up here, sorry. So we have 17, and then we have a remainder of 35. So we don't have any more places to go because 48 doesn't fit into 35. So I just wanna to check to make sure, are we using a remainder or, yes, we're doing a remainder, okay. This worksheet is looking for remainder, so we have 17, remainder 35 as our final answer, and that's and that's it. I have another video that I talk about how to write that as a decimal, so make sure to check that out, uh, long division, uh, just search it on my, on my YouTube page. All right, let's move on to, um, I guess we can move on to number two and then I'll show you a tougher one. I wanna show number two using a different method called the box method. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a box first. Okay, and actually I'm gonna redraw it. That's not enough space for me. So I'm gonna redraw this problem. And I really like the box method. My sixth graders really like it because it's just a little bit more organized. So I'm gonna show you what the box setup looks like. This isn't perfect, but you'll get the idea. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write 
827 on the inside here, and I'm gonna put 26 on the outside. So the process for the box method is I'm just gonna go one step at a time. How much does 26 go into eight? Well, that goes in zero times. 26 times zero is zero, so I have eight left over. Very similar to what we did before, but just a little bit more organized. Anytime we have leftovers, we're gonna, as my students say, take it to the neighbor's house. So we put the eight right there, and now we see how many times does 26 go into eight. Well, it's not gonna be four, that would be too big. So let's try three. So I'm gonna do three, I get eight, carry the one, you get six, whoops. And then that's gonna give me seven. Another one would be too much. So I know that's too much to go to four. So I'm gonna put three right here, because this number right here, the three, and then that number that got me close was 78. So I do 82 minus 78, and that gives me four. Carry this four up. My new number is 47, not seven, otherwise I wouldn't go into it. And now I'd see how many times 26 goes into 47, and it's only one time. Two times would take me to 52, so I'm gonna keep this as 26, minus, minus, and I have my remainder right here. So my answer is gonna be 31, that's that number right there, 31, and then my remainder is 21, and that's gonna be my answer. All right, uh, let's do one more, and I'll probably use the standard algorithm for this last one. Let's take a look at this one just because it's slightly different. So if you look at 45, doesn't go into one, 45 doesn't go into 12, 45 only goes into 124. So we have to go like straight there. I'm gonna see if it's three, because I know 45 times two is 90, and I, I don't know if we're gonna get there. I, I think it's gonna be too much, but I just wanna show you the process. So four times three is 12, then we add one is 13. Okay, so three is too much, so we're gonna have to go two, and that's 90. So we have four, we need to borrow, that goes down to zero, 12, and we have 34. So this answer is just two remainder 34, and that's the process. So that's three digit by two digit division. It's kind of tough, it requires some multiplication. Um, I prefer the box method, so if you wanna use that, I have another video, uh, just search math drills, uh, long division box method, and you'll see uh, what that is. I'll try to link it also at the end of this video to it, so you can check that out. Uh, whether or not you check out that video, make sure to check out Math Drills, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.